we're going to be making a arcade machine for the Nintendo Switch. So we have one side drawn out. Now let's do the same thing for the other side. Here's the measurements. It's 14 inches long front to back, 12, 12 inches tall from the bottom to where the like the deck is where you put the controller and the deck is eight inches and then it is 10 inches tall from there from the screen and then up here front to back is six inches. I wouldn't always trust me with a box cutter but I'm gonna need to use this. side just trace this and do the exact same thing we've got the two sides done the two sides that we just did were this side and this side and now we just need to cut the top needs to be 12, I'm pretty sure 12 by 14. One inches high and 12 inches wide. I purposely left some space because I wanted to be able to have like a storage compartment under because I thought that would be a good use of the it's kind of going to be a hollow interior, so I thought I might want to make some storage. The last parts that we need to add are the this part right here, the top part where you put the controller, and the front part where the actual screen is going to be. Actually, we, I think we have enough components right now, enough pieces, that we can just tape the basic frame together. And it'll just be easier just to eyeball the measurements. And also, it'll actually start to look a little bit like a machine. Then just some random cardboard pieces. down here this now I need to cut this part now you need to cut out the panel where the actual screen can be shown through. As you can see, I kind of messed up, like it's way uneven, but honestly, it's not gonna matter that much when you're playing. But yeah, cut this out. Now you're gonna need some skewers, like, like lots of skewers. Like 20 skewers. Now you need to cut out a six by 12 inch panel. So basically this platform is gonna be the platform that is, that the switch is gonna be sitting on. So you need the skewers for lots of support because the switch is pretty heavy. And you 
So this panel right here is the skewer panel. And it's going to be holding up the switch right there. But if you need some more support than just tape, I added a wooden block right there. So it really, really stabilizes it. And it makes it support at least eight pounds. And the switch is about like three to four pounds. So it should be good. I'm using the Joy-Cons. So cut the panel so that way it fits these. So for the cutouts, like for the controllers, we're gonna have like a backer on it so that way it can not fall down and hit the bottom. But it's nice to get the cut nice and closed so that way the controllers can mainly withstand their own weight. Cause if it's too loose, it will just fall straight down and it'll be really hard to hold them up. So get a nice tight fit. I off-centered these controllers so that way if there's two players, you're not like knocking into each other. So one person... To hold up the switch screen, we're gonna use a dowel in the front so it won't slide forward. And I believe we're gonna be using a piece of cardboard for the back so it doesn't fall backwards. So to hold the controllers, we have those two dowels and then a piece of cardboard under it so it as an inset for the controller to sit in. But remember on the piece of cardboard that's actually gonna stop it from falling, make sure to cut, uh, cut out a hole for this piece right here. So that way it's not like sticking out, it's like perfectly level. Like, like, like this. As you see, this controller is like in here. It is not going anywhere. That's because I cut the hole, put the controller in, so it's already a snug fit. But then I put these two dowels. They're covered in duct tape, but there are two dowels right here and on the other side. And there's the piece of cardboard on top of that. But then like that hole right there, cut that out for this to stick out. And then you got um, one part of it done and do the exact same thing for the other side. So this is basically how everything works. We have the controller panel. This is actually gonna be, I think this is gonna be detachable. We have the controller panel where you actually play. We have the switch, which is the screen you look on. We have these two dowels stopping it from falling forward. And then we actually have a back panel in here to stop this switch from falling backwards when you're getting angry and moving the thing.